Good. Want to get in here? Yeah. Yeah, you just want to come on the pitch, right? <laughs> <laughs> Kevin, your um, your last bout was last year with. Um, are you recording? Yeah. Your last bout. Um, this is Jason Colombo, Boy Equal Boxing. Your last bout was with um, Franklin Agabi, was it? No, it was um, Matt Skellington. Still training every day. What's his name again? I think it was Matt Skellington. Matt Skellington. And, um, but I fought him the same night. You know, previous I fought uh, the guy fighting. Well, you had a, um, you had a unanimous decision with that. Is it? Was that? Is it? Uh, that was just a, no, the first one was a decision. Uh, the other guy gave me a grand. He was supposed to give me a unanimous decision, but I had him on the back in the second round, you know, with a right hand, and they didn't get the counter for so. Um, did, um, now that you're coming to face off with um, Tomas Adamek, what do you want to do differently from the last fight you did? I am definitely um, training I'm more focused and I'm training hard and um, looking forward to it, you know, I'm going to show the world that I'm a legitimate contender and uh, Thomas Amadeg uh, is a great fighter, but uh, you know, I believe I have the equalizer. You fight and, um, but you don't mind that at all. And, You've uh, taken every gamble so far. Move on. You're 35 and 8 right now, right? You have uh, 29 knockouts. You think you're going to have a knockout with Tomas? Well, uh, you'll have to come and say what this for yourself, you know. But uh, I don't reckon it's going to go the distance. <laughs> But I'm going to be prepared Can't for the distance. Can't your wife and kids that long, right? Are you preparing yourself right now? Uh, I'm in Boston. I said, right now. How long you guys been um, at the preparation? <laughs> what days is it? I'm going to get you. Probably take out the garbage. Uh, training in the last couple of weeks. Well, yeah, shovel the snow. Yeah, this is a hard of it. <laughs> when did you hear about it? A couple of weeks ago. A couple of weeks ago? Your manager Quinn came to you with yeah. the um, with the news. Uh, you know, this is like uh, when uh, for Mike Tyson, uh, I got the news something similar, and uh, you know, I grabbed the ball. Uh, you know, I was a big underdog. They said that uh, I was a, uh, a big underdog, and I proved different. You know, I, I believe to so a kid they always want to meet him, so meet, meet Mike Tyson, shake his hand, just to get the opportunity to fight him. You know, Mike Tyson hit hard, and uh, you know, there's one thing he might have been the same fighter, but you know, George Norman proved. Um, that's the last thing that leaves you is the power, and, uh, and Tyson hit me some good shots. And, uh, you know, I was about to overcome them, and you know, it is. You, um, you have um, eight ways of loss by six knockouts, right? Sorry? You have eight ways, eight ways of loss by six knockouts. Uh, yeah, that's boxing, I mean, so don't worry about it. Like, and, you know, sometimes you have to, uh, the losses make you appreciate the wins, you know, and uh, you know, you're only as good as your last fight, the last half fight, but uh, I'm coming to prepare, and uh, I believe, you know, uh, which, like I said, Sean Scully, uh, famous painter, you know, said to me, you know, follow your dream. And, uh, as a kid growing up, uh, I always wanted to fight for a world title and win one and be the first born Irish heavyweight champion. And the uh, beautiful thing about sport and boxing, uh, uh, it's one punch can change the chapter. And, and I, I got that punch, you know, uh, like, I got the equalizer, so I just have to uh, prove it on the night. And, uh, uh, I'm looking forward to it. Okay. Well, you fight against Tyson, how has that changed your life? Yeah, well, you know, me personally, you know, it's just like uh, I said, growing up, I idolized Mike Tyson, Muhammad Ali, and Mike Tyson was, uh, you know, it was a great fight to have and a great win. And I actually meet Muhammad Ali the same night because his daughter fought and shake his hand and I shook Muhammad Ali's hand and I said, this is the greatest night in my life as far as boxing concerned. I said, uh, I'm after meeting the legend, beat one, and I meet the greatest of all time. And Muhammad Ali, he says, threw a few punches. He says, I'm the greatest, you're the latest, you know. And just um, in boxing, um, for me, it was like a dream to meet him, to beat him. And now, you know, getting an opportunity to fulfill my dream. And, uh, Thomas Amadek's in my way to get a big shot and hopefully I get it and um, you know 
this is uh, it's going to be exciting because I'm coming to fight the uh, Irish and Polish. You know, uh, it's going to be a good fight, you know. I hope you are. Your fans are looking at you right now, on, you know, on all over the incident and whatnot. What do you mean, your fans? You know, why they should buy this fight? Uh, as a, um, because boxing is so beautiful, the sport is so boxing, and uh, you know, one punch you change the chapter, and people should buy it because I believe I can win, and I believe that um, I'm going to be the heavyweight champion of the world one day. And that's my belief, and uh, there's only one show we're winning, and that's not to lose. And Thomas Adam Jackson. You have one message to Thomas Adam, like, look into the camera and tell him, what will you think? I'm Zamadek. Appreciate the fight. I want to take it from you. How you doing? I'm Steven with Bang Boxing. I only have one question. Um, you are being set up as a test for Adama for the Klitschko's. How do you feel about that? Well, I'm a good test because I got the equalizer, and uh, once I get it on Thomas Zamadek's chin, he's going to want that fight. You know? You're of so, this is not. Uh, uh, a fight where you're this allowing him to get set up. I know, and I apologize. I apologize. <laughs> but essentially, you're not looking at this as a test. You're looking at to, to basically stop him from getting to that next step. You know, I'm looking for for me to get the dream fight and become the first-born Irish heavyweight champion. Well, he's in my way, and I'm going to go and do what I've got to do. Uh, and believe me, I'm 100% I'm focused. I'm ready. Okay. It's going to be exciting. So you're actually pushing him out of the way and making your own way to the championship. Well, i got to get in the ring and take care of business and, and, and prove to the world that I'm a legitimate contender. And, and, and Thomas Almadex in a way, so I'll be there on the, um, the 9th of April and prove to the world that I'm a contender. And hopefully one of the big boys then will give me the opportunity because, you know, I'll, I'll fill his shoes, but they'll be too small, so I'll, but, uh, I'll give them <laughs> bigger shoes. I think size 18s, you know. And, uh, size 18s? Size 18s. Wow, okay. So, uh, you know, I love sport. Boxing is a beautiful sport. All it takes is one punch. Everybody knows the business, especially in heavyweight division. I got 29 knockouts. Fair enough. That's a history. Now I have to prove it and put it together and, and, and bring it on the night. And um, thanks, Jerry Quinn, for um, giving me the opportunity. And uh, Mike Moynan is my lawyer. He, he wrote up the contract. And don't forget Sean Scully for telling me to give me that dream, uh, you know, believe in my dream and it'll happen. He's a, an artist and, and, and not enough for my, my wife, Danielle, and my two kids, you know. And I hear this fight for two belts, I give one to my son and one to my daughter. What a way to go. Great, thank you. If you want to translate or just talk to somebody over there. No, I heard everything you said, baby. You're good. Mike Tyson, um, he draws 20,000 people, so that's your answer. I mean, uh, it's, it's in the ring, when you're in the ring, and it's your house, you do what you got to do. Us, you know, I don't worry about who's our, uh, who isn't. I just go in and do what I got to do, and that's the way. Right? Just once you're away, that's all. Did you think, uh, and, you know, I'm sorry, I'm from that crowd, you know, in New Jersey, uh, uh, in order to win, you have to knock him out. Can you win a decision in your mind? Listen, of course I can win a decision. I'm going to be prepared for 12 rounds. But, you know, once I land the, the punch of Alamax Chin, I'm a bit strong lad, and then later on, so I'm going to win. So, you know, I respect the man, but I'm here to win. You know, I'm not here to lose. I'm Irish, I'm 100% focused. Looking forward, and it's going to be exciting. That's why I'm here to I am not sure watch it because you know, never know what happens. Andrew Gallada, all right, you know, he's close to Bruce Lear, but this time, when I beat Adam and I, he liked beating Gallada because he already beat Gallada and he's going to make his revenge.